Actually, on the New Jersey Turnpike, the Oscar winning film A Beautiful Mind was based on Nash's life and his battles with schizophrenia. Russell Crowe and director Ron Howard expressed their condolences. Crowe tweeted, Beautiful minds, beautiful hearts, while Howard said that it was an honor telling part of their story. Tomorrow, a tax break in Virginia to help get you and your family ready for hurricane season. You can get a break on any items that you need to stay safe during an emergency, and that includes bottled water as well as generators that cost less than $1,000. You can also find a full list of all of the discounted items on our website. It's WJLA.com. And the sales tax holiday runs through May 31st. Perfect timing. It is good timing. June 1st is the official start to the season. We've already had a named storm that's been there. Yes. So really interesting. It mm -hmm. seems like in some minds it's, it's begun a little bit early. There's a whole checklist, if you didn't know it, for your preparedness kit. It's put out by FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Association. Whole list of things you should put in your preparedness kit. The most important is going to be water. We'll get to this. Let's take a look at the high temperatures here today. But it's a lot of water you're going to need, about a gallon per person for a day. So if you've got a family of four and a three-day supply is what they recommend, that's going to be 12 gallons of water you're going to need to get. So you're going to have to find a spot to put those rations as well, also getting food. But check it out. It's at WJLA.com. Great time over the next couple of weeks to get that preparedness kit together. Very important. High temps today. Take a look all up and down the East Coast. The lower to mid-80s, the humidity is still pretty low. Many times, something we speak of in a west-to-east general weather pattern that we put in the mid-Atlantic the next day, you could take Nashville and St. Louis temperatures, average them out and put them here. Our high tomorrow is about 88, so going very close to what they have. Clearly see real-time temps. We're up tonight, even all the way to the Midwest. Higher humidity helps to hold temperatures up, and that's exactly what's coming in. Little bit higher humidity here. Much more humid into the Midwest. Flooding stories you've heard about in towards the Red River Valley, Texas, Oklahoma. Clearly all the storms from the tropical-like moisture in place. What we're watching in the overall scheme of things, and it's not an area of pressure that pops over us here. It was just a mistake on my part. Just getting warmer. Temperatures going up. Humidity still not awfully bad, but we go to Tuesday. Really, that's where the humidity is felt. Temperatures upper 80s, if not 90 degrees or so. Then we'll also have a weak front that starts to come in and fade, and that washes out over the region Wednesday, Thursday, and that's when rain chances are really mostly enhanced. Overnight temperatures not as cool as the last couple of nights. Not chilly tomorrow morning to start off Memorial Day right around 60. It's warm. Mid to upper 80s could come in. A slow creep upwards in humidity as well. Nearly perfect to get out to the pool. Just warm enough to keep cool with a dip in the pool, but not hot enough you're burning up on the pool deck. Great day for Memorial Day. Come Tuesday could be a widely scattered shower, possible thunderstorm, and is most likely right now north and west of Washington. Really, it's going to be about the heat, the humidity that's felt. Temperatures getting closer to 90 degrees. At the high end, even over the next week, the warmest temperatures could only go maybe 91, 92, 93. That's what most of the forecasts have centered on. So if you would really take the easy way out in the seven-day forecast it could be the laziest meteorologist in the world and just put high of 90 for the next seven days or a low of 70 but <laughs> didn't quite do it for you try I to pinpoint when maybe the days that might be the hottest could be like Wednesday and might also contain the best storm chances as well widely scattered storms is the way we could word it right now but Wednesday Thursday might be the next two that maybe a storm is going to be coming your way okay Devin thanks a lot welcome. love it yeah well the Nats Turn much better. Around. Much better today. Much improved yeah. performance. We had like fun this. watching them today. <laughs> yeah. Highlights from today's rubber match. The Nets actually looking like the NL East leaders. Plus the Turf women go for their second consecutive lacrosse title. That's big stuff. Highlights next in sports. The Memorial Day Sale at Regency.